How many ways can you say it's hot? Wow, so hot! It's very cold. It's very cold. Wow, it's very cold. Very cold. Not too shaky one. Ah, it's very cold. Not too shaky one. Kuruku pisas. Regardless of the language, our bodies need the same thing when temperatures are this extreme: water, air conditioning, sun protection, and hey, the use of common sense. Here are a few helpful reminders. Drink plenty of fluids and don't wait until you are thirsty to drink. Wear appropriate clothing and sunscreen. Choose lightweight, light-colored, loose-fitting clothing. Schedule outdoor activities carefully. If you must be outdoors, try to limit your outdoor activity to the mornings or the evening hours. Recognize and treat hot weather health emergencies. Heat cramps, heat exhaustion, and heat stroke are all ways the human body reacts to the extreme heat. Know the signs and the symptoms, and what to do if you or another person is experiencing any of these: extremely high body temp, red hot and dry skin with no sweating, rapid pulse, headache, dizziness, nausea, confusion, unconsciousness. If you encounter someone with these symptoms, get the person to a shady area or inside as quickly as possible. Call 911 and cool the person with water. Now, not only are we watching out for you and your loved ones, but so is the law. law. Pay attention to this part too. The Texas law prohibits leaving a child younger than seven years of age unattended by an individual in the vehicle who is at least 14 years of age for longer than five minutes. Also, Plano City Ordinance prohibits leaving an animal in a motor vehicle or trailer under conditions which may endanger the health of the animal due to temperature, lack of food or water, or under other circumstances which may cause bodily injury, serious bodily injury, or death of the animal. To sum it up. Take care of yourself. Take care of your children. Take care of the elderly, and take care of your pets. That's really what makes the world go round. For more information, visit Plano.gov.